find Edinburgh gets so dark some January days. You feel its teeth on your neck. Even in the dark though, you know you're home. You can smell the breweries and the salt. You can see such a long way from this old city. Up Arthur's Seat or Calton Hill on pale mornings, look to the north. See the green of Fife and the beginning of the sea and the world stretching before you like a whole new year. At night, look for the lighthouses. Look further, all around the coast. A sparkling necklace made of light, a string of fairy lamps, little fires held out against the dark. That's what the sky must think. We have filled the north with light, even in the darkest days. And light has a way of returning. Scotland's lighthouses are controlled from inside this building, the Northern Lighthouse Board, here on George Street. There's a little lighthouse right here too. Beacon calls to beacon, calling all around the coast, calling to the lighthouse on the Isle of May, standing in the Firth of Forth. The lighthouse designed by Robert Louis Stevenson's grandfather. In Stevenson's Kidnapped, the captain says, The winds spare and the tide upon the turn. We'll see the old coal bucket burning on the Isle of May before tonight. The winds spare and the tide upon the turn. And the light has a way of returning. Imagine being at sea without lighthouses, without that necklace of light, without those little fires, where rocks are only rumours, islands dim behind mist, sea swallowing the light from the moon, and ships keening alone in the night, heave and roll, yaw and swing, the fog and the storm beckoning wrecks, colliding and riven and lost, souls forever missing in the deep. Fear grows in unknown places, and here the kraken waits, hungry to reach up its fingers, feeling for a boat to pull down and down. And the purple bruise of thunder sets a cloudy omen in the dark. Scotland has spread darkness as well as light. Scottish traders took people across the sea. We took people from their homes into captivity and death. We sent souls missing in the dark. We wrung out blood and salt to pay for sugar and tobacco. There are crimes and dark places in our past. A sea of wrongs that need light shone brightly upon them now. And light has a way of returning. Lighthouses shine on the water tonight, unmanned now and empty but for electricity and mercury and birds. Guillemot and Kittiwake, Razorbill and Puffin, Fulmer and Shag, living among the ghost lights, saying the things we won't. Each a lantern for those across the sea, a lantern for the lives on brink of shipwreck for all those who turn their hope towards the light in the mire of grief and desolation. A glass lantern is something to reach for. The waves roar at New Haven and Portobello and at Cramond with the voice of someone asking, where is home? How do we get there? Who will light the way? The wind is fair, the tide upon the turn. We'll see the old coal bucket burning on the Isle of May before tonight. We write a message on dark water and we write it on the night. These are the darkest days. They say in Fife, grip fast. They say in Leith, persevere. Keep the light alight and speak it. Every lighthouse writes a message. It's going to be all right. You are not alone. Others have made this path before you. 
Yes, the way is rocky. Deep water and darkness mask danger, but together in the sea, we make a path. A way to safer harbours, we light the light. Little fires against the dark, beacon calling to beacon. At rising tide and falling, we find the words that mean, come home. We find each other in the night. The sea is listening, listening for the light. And light has a way of returning. Listen. Let beacon call to beacon. Listen. Listen for the light. Listen for the light. And light has a way of returning. Listen. Come home. Come home, come home. Listen for the light.